Hello guys, welcome back to Global Oak Media. My name is Bob and today we'll be going through uh, the different ways you could go about editing and animating all inside After Effects and Element 3D. Okay, so now that we are in After Effects, one of the first thing you're going to need to do is create a background. The animation that we're going for uh, today is animating a watch that comes with a starter pack when you, uh, you know, when you first get element 3d the background and then apply a grid into it just so our element can sit on it so the way you do that is you come here and uh you create you know you create your composition uh so we will we'll make ours 15 seconds and then we create a new solid and so we name this our background this is going to be our background layer now once that is done you go to your effects and you type in ramp this is the gradient ramp just to you know liven up our background we are going to give it a color so you drag the gradient ramp on it and then you change it to a radial uh, a radial uh, ramp or you can just do the the linear one if that is what you're going for uh, you can always it's always advised that you you know tweak the settings as much as you want just so you can get the effect that you're going for and then you can pick the colors i want more of a blue yeah so a, a, a light blue uh, that goes into a darker uh, uh, you know yeah something like this looks good for me so a light blue that goes into a darker blue so now with that done what we've basically done is created our background layer uh, what you want to do is come here and create a new solid and now this solid is where our element plugin is going to go to and this is where we're going to do uh the entirety of most of our animations so once you create a solid you can name this element 3d seeing as how that's the effect or the plugin we're going to load there so you you go to your effects you go to video copilot and you apply element 3d now once that is done uh you go to the you know the effects control tab and you'll see the scene setup and this is where we're going to set up you know the 3d elements so that we can come back and animate them so you go into your scene setup and this is generally how we would uh, how you, it uh, it would look and the first thing that we want to do is create a plane this plane the importance of this plane is so it can catch our shadows when we later you know add lights just so we can bring in you know the shadows and the ambient occlusion to sell uh, our 3d environment or our 3d object so you create a plane and we can scale this up so this is our our plane or our ground and so on the plane we want to apply matte shadow to it okay so matte shadow and so that will be the surface that catches our uh, shadows once we once we add lights so once that is done you can scroll all the way down to your starter pack this uh, all of this come with all of this come with element 3d so you go you go all the way down and you find the watch so you can drag or you can you know you can click it and when you go back to your scene you will see you know our watch has now been brought into uh, our preview window and so what we want to do is just come here uh move it up so that it's above uh this layer we want to uh and then scale it up to whatever size you know suits you i think that works for me something like that yeah and that uh that looks that looks good to me so on this tab that says the scene you can view the material or you can view the separate separated you know uh, parts of whatever model it is you import so uh once we click on this and we scroll down our watch uh what we want to do is separate you know this outer part and uh the components of what you would see up here so we want this separate from the wristband so that we can animate 
this part and make it look like it's it's coming apart and then going back together so uh, the way we do that is you come to not the material options but the other options and this lower one because i've already tried it so i know this lower one this is the the wrist or the rubber part of the watch and so what you'd want to do or the uh or rather what we are going to do is put uh the the wristband and the watch itself in different auxiliary channels so the way we do that is we take uh the rest of the watch and we put all of this in auxiliary channel one so auxiliary animation and auxiliary channel one so all of this are now part of the auxiliary channel one so once that is done we are pretty much done with our scene you know inside element 3d or, or rather this part so you press ok it takes you back to after effects and so now what you want to do is create a new camera right so we create a new camera 50mm works for me and we just wanna we just wanna position our camera or rather our object uh you know in the place that we want so about there works for me so already as you look at it this looks you know pretty cool but you can always you know push it further and the way we do that is once you've you know created this you go back to your effects control and you you drop down the group one and under the group one you'll see the auxiliary channel so here this is where we're going to separate the watch uh, you know the wristbands and keyframe it to move separately with uh, the actual uh, the other parts of the the watch rather so first things first we go to the our auxiliary channel one and we can scale and we can move this down and if we tweak this just a bit if you go to rotation now if you touch this you can see that the top of the watch moves separately from the rest of the watch or the rest of the watch and that is what we wanted because we want to animate this separately than the you know the, the rest of the watch so we, we uh, once you have you know everything the way you'd like you go to your particle look now under the particle look you'll find the deform uh, first one thing that you will need to do is enable your multi object you know animator so that you can uh, deform and separate your segments properly then go down to your displacement and the things that we're going to use are the position the scatter and the the displacement and the rotation so you go to about two seconds and you can go down to your displacement and we want to displace you know this top part so we displace it on the y-axis and you can always change the camera angle just so you can see what you're doing and that looks good so the next thing that we want to do is move down and now we can change the position of this and you know bring it closer to the watch now once that is done we can also you know play with the rotation okay and then we move all the way back up and we can scatter you know the the, the different segments and now this is where the effect now happens so once we have this what what uh, you're going to need to do is now create keyframes so that we can tell you know uh, when so we, so that basically we can change the evolution of when the different parts of the different segments of this watch uh, animates. So the, what we're gonna do is go to our two second mark and you know put a keyframe on our rotation, put a keyframe on our position under the auxiliary channels then we go up to our 
scatter and we want to put a keyframe on that put a keyframe on the displacement and then yep those are the ones uh, that we touched but you can always go ahead and you know tweak each of the settings until you find uh, the, the effect that you are going for but those work for me then once that is done we move all the way back to the start or to the beginning of our timeline and it's 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 simple as taking you know the values back to zero okay so we put all of this back to zero and basically put the watch you know back together now if you look at this you can see it animates and changes you know uh the the other thing that's you know uh, you're going to need to do to sell this better is click on your camera click p for position and now you can animate the position of your camera to make sure that uh every single detail of your animation is in frame so you go to the fast uh or rather you can go to the to the end or to the two minute mark where we displaced the the objects and you can choose you know the angle okay so let's say i want my animation to end at that and we want to you know put our keyframe here and we can f9 just to ease it in then we want to go back to the beginning and reset or change the angle of our camera which again changes you know or creates a keyframe at the beginning of your timeline and now if you scroll through you have you know something that looks like that something that animates as your watch does as well okay now once you do that you can always go back and took it in and do and add more keyframes just so you can you know make your animation as unique as possible the other thing that uh, i'd like us to go through is the video that I played in the beginning, there is that end part where you see multiple watches, uh, you know, around uh, the one place. But before we do that, we have to create a light, like I said. So we, you come here, you create a new, and you uh, you select a light. I'm going to use a spotlight for this one, and put our intensity at a hundred. And now I can place my light my scene looks you know as good as possible so once you've done your lighting and you've done everything what you want to do is go back minimize your group settings go to your render settings and enable shadows and you, uh, we can do 4k uh, then go all the way down where it says ambient occlusion and you want to enable that and you know take the intensity to something like 10 10 will work and then now if you look at your scene you can see we have ambient occlusion and we have our shadows here if you do not like you know your shadows you can always reposition your light which obviously affects you know where your shadow is and how strong you know your shadow looks you can also scroll through your timeline to make sure that every part of your you know of your scene is well lit uh, the other thing that I, uh, i'd probably do is add another light say an ambient light uh put this as about maybe 20 percent just so more of my you know uh, the upper side of my watch is seen and maybe bring that up and that looks good to me okay so now that we have added our light and we have you know done all of that and i like that the other thing that i'd like to do is with this all done let's see uh, how you can go about creating the final you know the final clip that play on the last part of the video duplicates our element 3d layer that's control shift and d now once that is done we want to select this new layer Go back to our group one and reset everything back to zero. Okay, so once that is done, uh, make sure that your camera, you know, is exactly, you know, how you'd like your scene to look. 
maybe move this out and now you know we have our watch so like i said uh what, what, what we want to do now is recreate the final you know part of you know the the animation i showed in the beginning of this video and the way we do that is we come to our particle replicate uh, replicator tab and we make this around six uh, now once that is done we change the shape to a ring a ring would work uh in this case so, make this a ring and change this to about six six would work and basically all we'll have to do is increase the shape scale and now if you zoom out you'll see that we have completely uh, we have recreated the final shot in that clip and all you have to really do is now animate uh, let's minimize this all you have to do is animate your camera to rotate around your scene and that's how you go about creating that last frame so if you hanged out or if you stayed until this far uh, first I'd like to say thank you make sure you like subscribe and comment what would you would like to see me do next time and I'll see you in the next one Put them on the floor. Put them on the floor.